Hi guys, we're out here under the gazebo here at the Zoo Church. It is a beautiful afternoon. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about letters. You know, now we do a lot of um, texting and, and private message on Facebook and different medias like that. But I still like the old timey, what we call now, snail mail. And in my hand, I've got three precious letters. The ones from Mason, McKenzie, and Madison. And you can see they've really decorated them up really pretty. That's my two great nieces and my great nephew. And they sent me these little cards and they mean a whole lot to me. This one here is a card from my sister and that means a lot to me. And this one here, while it wasn't put in the mail, this is from my husband, Rick. And I, these, are, these are nice cards, these are nice letters. And, and I get those and I'm anxious to see what they've got to say because they're filled with uh, encouragement. They're, sometimes they're funny, tells me about what's going on in their lives. And it has a lot of information and it, it mainly is filled with love. Because I know these people love me and I love them. And I can't imagine getting one of their cards or letters and just throwing it on the table and not paying any attention to it. Because it's, they're important to me and I'm important to them and I want to know what's going on. Do you know that we get love letters right here from God? That he writes love letters to us? How awesome is that? Now see, when I told you about these people, you really don't know them. And I don't get love letters and, and things that, to encourage me from people that, you know, are well known. But I get love letters from God Almighty. How awesome is that? Let me give you just some examples of what he says in his word. In John 3.16, he says, I love you. In Genesis 1.31, he said, I called you very good. In Psalms 139, he said, my thoughts are with you and uh, they are of you. He says, you are my treasured possession in Exodus 19.5. I love this one. In Zephaniah 317, he says, I sing loudly over you. And in Psalms 34.8, when you are heartbroken, I am close. Can you think of anything any more awesome than that? I can't. And that's just scratching the surface. We don't need to put this over to one side or on a shelf or on a coffee table and ignore it. He loves us and we should love him enough to open up his love letters and read them. What encouragement. So guys, you think about that. Go get your Bible and open it up. Read how much God loves us and wants us to be a, wants him to be a part of our lives so guys until next time sweet dreams and night night